it was a new experience to be loved so deeply simply for belonging to the Jewish faith, um, which I guess is only a mere image of being hated specifically for belonging to the Jewish faith. I don't know of any other ethnic group, right, who can have such powerful emotions of love and hatred from strangers. And it makes you as an individual who belongs to this group say, wait a minute, perhaps I prefer just being you know, I may be a proud Jew, but I don't want to be hated or loved simply because I belong to this faith. Um, and to fall into a whole set of assumptions and emotions of a people who outnumber me greatly. Israelis think that the whole world is hates us. So once someone comes to us and says, oh, we love you, we're just immediately hugging it and saying, yes, please come and, 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 and just, and we really want to be loved. But I think, and, and, and supported. And I think, there's a big uh, question to ask what it actually means to have the Christian evangelical support. Because I do think that the, the actual word support is, it's not an objective term. It's actually very subjective. Things that can be considered by some people in Israel as a, as a great support of the state of Israel can be on the same level considered as a, as a, as a big problem for the Israeli community. And of course, the evangelical support, the political support, it's actually uh, uh, really uh, giving a lot of uh, power to the right wing um, uh, ideas in Israel, the idea of that Israel should keep holding all the, all the West Bank under, under a military, under a military um, um, law.